Hey guys, Buffing Gaming Bad today, bringing you a video, and today we're covering an AK74MN build that I've been using a lot in Rebirth as well as Caldera, having some pretty good games. I'm going to show you a really good 13 kill call, or, uh, Rebirth win as well as a 14 kill Caldera uh, game, which just was a, had a crazy ending, was was really good. So in that game, we'll see a lot of uh, some HDR, some of this AK74, and some PKP Pechenet gameplay there, and some duos on Caldera as well as the solo Rebirth win. So, first off, this weapon itself, the AK-74M, this is the AK-47 from Modern Warfare, utilizing the 545 by 39 millimeter ammo conversion, turning it effectively into an AK-74. And for this particular weapon that I'll show you here, we're using more of an upgraded barrel attachment with a particular blueprint, which turns it more so into an AK-74MN build, or what I would like to kind of call the Alpha AK, or at least the closest version of the Alpha AK that we can get here in-game. Very, very effective at close quarters combat, this we weapon, and even can stretch it out a little bit uh, to some shorter medium range. So let's go ahead and we'll back out quick and look at this final build of the weapon here. We see I'm utilizing the Team Hoda blueprint for this particular one I'm showing off. However, uh, the Resonat blueprint is also one that you'll see be using a little bit in the solo gameplay here. And that one has the tracers. So we'll just take a look at these ones quick. The Resonat blueprint here, this was from... Modern Warfare Season 6, I believe with the Call of Duty event, this one came out as part of the Dr. Karlov bundle. You can see here, really nice looking AK. And this one has electric tracers as well as dismemberment. So you'll see me use this one in the uh, Rebirth gameplay. And then I'm going to be using, I believe it's the same one here, utilizing the Team Hoda blueprint for the Caldera gameplay. So go ahead now and we'll strip this thing down no matter what AK you're starting with here. The muzzle attachment for this one, I'm going to use the monolithic suppressor for the sound suppressor damage at range. Now, the barrel option, you probably have seen some gameplay of me lately utilizing the Spesnaz Elite, and this is definitely an effective barrel. Um, however, I was just trying something new, and for that particular build, I'm utilizing the 23-inch Romanian uh, barrel for the RPK, and we're just going to use the, the blueprint option here instead of the RPK or the base, we're going to use the Resina, and this one gives it a more more so closely to a Vieltor type handguard, almost uh, at least the same shape as a Vieltor AK handguard. And uh, you have the built-in foregrip there, so you don't need an underbarrel attachment on this thing because it comes with the foregrip built in, which is nice. So you can use that other attachment slot somewhere else. So the magazine option, we're gonna switch make the conversion from the 762 by 39 to the 545 by 39. And we're gonna use the collateral blueprint here just to give it a nice clean AK-74 mag with that orange tape, which matches the orange wires we have on this Resonat barrel attachment. And then next up for the optic, going to run the aim op or the aim point reflex sight here. Gives us just a, a standard red dot option here. I think for some reason I, I like this optic a lot on the AKs for Modern Warfare. Go ahead and select that. And then the other perk here we're going to run is uh, going to be sleight of hand. Because we have a 30 round magazine, for the 545 by 39 and it increases the rate of fire on the weapon we'll take a look at that the rate of fire as well as the recoil control is increased so the rate of fire is is pretty quick so you'll burn through this 30 round magazine very quickly and because this is really only good for closer quarters engagements you need to be able to reload quickly so go ahead and use the sleight of hand attachment there which gets us back on the fight very very quick and you'll see that uh you'll see how that comes into play in some of the gameplay here I'm having to reload between um, some firefights quickly, and, and it gets you right back in the, the action quickly. So this is the final design for the AK-74M. You'll also see me utilize this exact same build, just with the iron sights, and we're going to run a tack laser on there for the aim down sight speed, aim and stability, and aim walking steadiness. And again, this thing, I would didn't really know how the iron sights were going to work for this, and this is going to be the rebirth gameplay you'll see. I was going to run it with the Iron Sights just to kind of test it out and see how it worked. And I ended up getting a really nice win just when I was going in to just try and test out the Iron Sights. So this is the final design here. Go ahead and take that up. You can also opt for Attack Laser and the Optic and get rid of Sleight of Hand. However, for me personally, I really like it with the uh, with the Sleight of Hand. It just offers, again, get back in the fight quickly. For the reticle here, I'm going to use the, the Add Point on here. Another really good one is the carrot as well. If you're running attack laser, I, I think the default is fine. But if you're not running attack laser, I'd like something like a carrot or even an add point or even the sunspot works well too. But for this one, we're going to use the add point. Gives us a nice clean picture as to where to aim because you do get some horizontal bounce with this thing as well. But this is the AK-74MN build. Go ahead now, now and jump into the gameplay. Back in the gameplay, you'll see the rebirth win 
Again, this is a really good win, and I play this slowly. Uh, I just ended up landing down at uh, Stronghold, or the old security, and ended up getting a, a couple kills before I got my loadout. Got back up to the tower, and I had my heartbeat, and there's a couple guys around me, so I'm going to play that high ground. Kind of uh, just monitor what's going on around me. And a couple guys try and come up the ladder. One of the guys I actually baited, I knew he was on the ladder below me. I could hear him, and I had him on the heartbeat. So what I did is pretend to shoot at something. I just fired off a few rounds, shot around with my sniper rifle, and then I turned, and, and lo and behold, I, I baited him, and he came up the ladder, and I ended up getting an easy kill there. A couple guys came up the zip, and another guy came up the ladder. Um, not trying to camp but again you have a lot of people around you so it would be kind of stupid to give up high ground when you have tactical advantage and then eventually i get a couple kills need to go down because i want to get my ghost load out um kill a couple more people coming in when i need to reposition and then we move up into uh s close to the living quarters area get into some houses there and it ends up being a 1v1 situation i'm gonna end up playing the gas there and get into the living quarters which worked out really well again this ak-74m build very, very good at close quarters, and especially this one with the iron sights with that uh, tech laser on there makes it m a lot snappier in uh, in these firefights on Rebirth especially. You'll notice the difference between the Rebirth and the Caldera gameplay, just how, more, how much more quickly the ADS speed and the ergonomics are in general because I have the iron sights and the uh, tech laser on there. However, in the Caldera gameplay, it's still very effective. Again, you're utilizing this. Caldera is obviously you have much more open space. So I'm pairing it with the HDR there as well, just to be able to, if I'm hitting somebody and need to finish them off quickly, I can do so. Um, but again, the AK-74 is just very effective. I really wouldn't use it anywhere outside of 50, even 60 meters might be stretching it. Um, but again, it is just a beast at close quarters, and you'll see me take advantage of that in close quarters and beat out uh, things like an Owen gun and things like that. Um, which works, it was a little bit surprising to me, but I've always known this thing has a fast TTK. Um, very effective. Unfortunately, it's not something anybody really I ever see use outside of our community. So, really good gameplay here. And then we jump into Caldera. When we get there in the in the gameplay, you'll see in the back. And again, this was a, a good game where Moo and I ended up landing uh, kind of over by shooting range, looted up, got our loadouts, moved towards factory. I got a, a bunch of snipes at factory, and Moo was kind of struggling this game. This, I think, was our first game of the day, maybe. And uh, just he just ran into some bad luck, got, got pinched, but we had a lot of teams around us. Um, so whenever he went down, I ended up killing that guy, like, right after. Bought it back up a couple times. We had a fire sale. Um, we repositioned quite a lot. And, uh, I ended up dying after I bought him back in a fire sale. And I, I, I stupidly stood at the buy station and tried to get a, a self-res. And then I tried to get maybe a UAV or something. I knew I was standing there too long and just opening, opening myself up. And, and, of course, somebody was coming in from the gas that I didn't see. And ended up getting me. But I, I thankfully won my gulag and came back. And that's where you'll see me pick up the PKP Petchen Egg. Which I have in my Ghost Loadout for this particular game. And uh, slow play that as well. We got hit a good position on the circle there where people had to push into us. And then I ended up taking uh, a redeploy balloon. Repositioning it again. And unfortunately I, I just made some stupid decisions near the end of this game. Uh, where I should have stuck with my PKP instead of do a, a really bad move that I tried to do. So I, I could have played it a little bit better, maybe gotten the win, but still a really good gameplay where I ended up getting 14 kills and just kind of going off on that game. So let me know what you guys think of the AK-74MN build. What particular AK build do you like to use from Call of Duty Modern Warfare? Or maybe you prefer the Cold War version of the AK. Let me know your builds down below. Let me know what you guys think of the gameplay. Again, the Resident Evil Blueprint's really good. Uh, I like that, that barrel. It makes it very appealing with somewhat of a more modernized design for that RPK barrel with that blueprint. Just aesthetically fits the AK very, very well. I'm a big fan of it. So let me know what you guys think down below. Till next time, this is Buffner Gaming. Out. I downed the guy in the room. Don't know. Not a good okay. shot, though. He's here with me. There's a guy dropping in above you. Yep. There's His teammate's here. Okay, I'm He'll moving up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. He just was here. He might take a zip. My textures are all fucked. Fuck! His teammate was right above me as I was killing the guy on the zip. I kill I killed him, but the guy's
marksman rifle. Right cool. How'd he get up there so quick though? He's got a buddy. Yeah, he's got a buddy somewhere maybe? I don't know. He might be able to grab his shit quick. Try and cover you. Yep. Go That's probably it. his... I don't have anyone on heartbeat there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, 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 shit. He's here. Lady. I missed my grenade. He's behind this. No, he he bailed. He's underneath here. Go up on the other side, Matt. Go up the ladder over here. I don't have him on heartbeat. I do. He's below me here. I, got movement. I hear him running around. I got movement. Down here somewhere. Like literally below me. Dropping in. Okay. Nice. Oh shit! Dude, I don't know where he is. Oh, you're dead. Fuck. Yeah, which roof was it? The blue mark. Blue mark roof. There's where a guy is. Well, just hover and see if you see him. Okay. Oh, I see, I see him, I see him. There's two up there. They might leave for me. Yeah, they're leaving for me. Yeah, yeah. Going back. way, dude. Where's the other one? He left. Jumped off. He's behind the building somewhere here. I got movement. I got them both. Come down here and get this shit. Wait, there's guys over here. Where? From behind. Fuck. I got sniped from that way. You can't mark I see. Here else I'm gonna die. Can you I'm crawl up? Can you crawl? Point. Can you crawl up the front here to me? Yeah, drop down. There's a guy below me. Yeah. No, 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 I'm, I'm below you. Fuck. Finish this. Okay. God damn it. Wait, fire sale, I can get you! Yes. I'm gonna land on that stuff you just walked over. There's gonna be guys coming down the mountain, I think. Alright. Just heard something go off to our left. I think there's guys behind us. That's where I'm looking. Yeah, I got guys here. Oh, fucking Hit him. pussy. Yeah, one more here. He dead? Yep, he's in the gas. It's fine, he's gonna die. The SPR will not hit people, it's fucked up. Is this guy? I think there's a guy right here. I'm I'm plating and I need to reload, it's all you. There's, there's, a, there's a guy right behind this building. A, a car just bailed over here. Fuck, I need plates, oh, dude. Shit, there is a guy here. Ping it, ping it. Oh I see him! I don't have shots, come to me! Ah. Uh, Oh, 
Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Run, 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 run. Team no plate. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Shit, where do I go? Wow, a lot of solos. You, it... Where was that? There's a guy behind you. I would go down there, but there's a guy in front of you. Yep, I knew you're very close to you. Where? Oh no, dude! Where was this dude? What the fuck? What's he doing there? Oh my god, that was a fucking insane game. What the fuck? I went crazy.